bring you guys together and we throw this word around for you guys a lot is that you are the originators. I think you've inspired a generation of people now who dominate pop culture. Right. Right. And even for me, like I grew up on you guys, like you shaped so much of my teenage years. Nice, <laughs> nice. So I think it's interesting, you know, this being like a fashion cover I'm talking about. Now you look at streetwear and streetwear is a huge industry. And you know, there's a lot of talk about streetwear and the merging of streetwear and luxury, but I think it's important to acknowledge what you did for the space. You, you, know, you were early in working with Fendi. You were early in working with Louis Vuitton. And I think you were the first one to really position streetwear as luxury. But I'm curious, like, what was that like working for you in high fashion or within high fashion at that time? Did you face any sort of challenges? Like, do you feel like high fashion wasn't as welcoming as they are now? Challenge. Yeah, but in general, I didn't think about high brand or high fashion. I did it, but I did it as well. I did it as well, but I did it as well. まあ、勝利っていうかの変ですけど、まあそれは一つの結果というか勝ち取ったものというか、僕は一人でストリートを育てたわけではないので、みんなでみんなで育てたと思いますね、カルチャー。それが今実ってっていうことだと思います。I didn't realize this is the first time you guys have officially met. Well, we met when I worked at the Babe Store. Yeah. But I don't think he remembers me. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little quiet and I was trying to stay out the way. You were like... I was like, oh my God, Migo, you so teriyaki boys. See? Yeah. Like I was just like freaking out. I yeah. couldn't believe he came by the store. He just popped by and we all took a, a photo together. What was it like to walk in? We're in his space in Japan. You know, I've always imagined what it would be like when I met him officially. Like now that I've like become this artist, you yeah. know? Walking through his office and seeing all the things that he has and he's collected, it's it's crazy. It's like, you know, for me, it's like, I felt like a kid walking through a toy store, you know? Seeing all the stuff and like stuff that I would have collected. Like he had like old Genesis games and like mm -hmm. old like Nintendo games that I, that I lost years ago. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, you've always been a big fan of Nigo, but what is it about him that you were drawn to? Um, I think it's the fact that he is an originator. That's something that inspires me, mm. you know? And I always wanted to create my own sound and do my own thing with music. So like anybody that I see is kind of doing their own thing and leading the charge in their, in their lane. Like it's just, I, I just have so much respect for them. You walked at Virgil's debut fashion show. And I remember, I think it was Don C or something, was on his Instagram and they were, I mean, they were front row watching you, screaming your name, cheering. <laughs> it just felt like such, to, to Nico's point, like such a victory to see you guys, see Virgil, head of Louis Vuitton, to see you walk down that runway, to see Don C, Kanye, all these people front row. So yeah. what, what was that experience like for you? I was nervous. Really? Yeah, I was very nervous. Um, it was unreal. I never thought I would be walking in that big of a show, mm -hmm. but yeah, it was a it was an unreal experience, man. And, and uh, to see Virgil uh, execute at that level and do it the way he did it, um, it is a victory for Black excellence, you know, for streetwear, for all designers out here that just have a dream to design. Virgil's whole plight is, you know, that of someone who made something from nothing and made their own thing. To me, like, that's the most inspiring type of story there is. You know, somebody that kind of came up doing their own thing and being innovative and changing the game. No matter if he was working with Kanye or he was doing his own thing, he's always been ahead of the curve. Like, I remember when um, he designed my uh, album cover for WZRD. That was way before yeah. anybody even was on it on Virgil, you know, and I knew he was like this really dope designer. Did he just like call you and say, hey, 
You want to walk in my show? I think I asked him. Really? I, I think I was like, yo, man, uh, can I walk in your show? I just texted him. And I was like, I was thinking about it. Can I walk in your show? And he was like, sure. Next thing I know, I got an email from the people at Louis Vuitton to come in for a fitting. For you, Nigo, what was it like to see Virgil bring back the millionaire sunglasses that you designed with Pharrell for his debut collection? How does it feel to see the impact your music has made in the industry? It's overwhelming, uh, and it, it, but it, it gives me that like um, letting me know that like I'm on the right track and that I've always been on the right track. Like I wasn't really quite sure how people would respond to my first album. I thought a record like Pursuit of Happiness was strange, and it, and it was sonically compared to all the other Whatever music that was out yeah. at the time. And then it also adds a little pressure to maintain that, you know? When I'm making music and I'm just like, oh, this does this sound old or this sound dated? Because right, other people are doing it now, so. Right, right, and I feel like it's my job to always introduce something new to the world. What about you, Nigo? When you started out, did you have any idea how big of an impact you were gonna have on the fashion industry? <laughs> だし、スタイリストやったり、DJ it's just so crazy to think that his clothes were not popular at one point, yeah, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. あ、いや、いや、それ本当に全然なかったです。全然売れなかったし。でも、ま、I think it's interesting um, for the both of you guys and kind of what's happening now because I think there's a generation of designers coming up who have no training in fashion. And I feel like we're in an interesting time right now where you don't need to go to school, where fashion isn't as structured and as traditional as it used to be. まあ、for a while I was like, maybe I should study fashion, but then I was just like, not really, because it's yeah. just like, I've been doing good without it. And like, I feel like I have good good enough taste and I trust my, my decisions. Every day I walk out of the house, I feel confident with what I'm wearing. It took a little while, like I haven't, I've done some stuff with Babe from, I did like two or three shirts with Nigo when he was at Babe. So that was like early on me kind of getting the feeling of designing a little bit. And then more recently, I did APC, mm -hmm. which was another example of me getting a chance to like design a little bit. You which know? I feel like was long overdue. Right. You know, like people people ask me a lot, like, why don't I have a clothing brand, or mm. you know, and it's just like I'm being really patient. I'm not in a rush. I feel like I have a lot to learn, you know, and I'm learning while I do these collabs. Something as simple as terminology, like even for example, like the varsity patch on a varsity jacket, the varsity letter. What's that? I didn't even know it was Chanel. <laughs> like, my friends had to tell me that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, a varsity patch, you know? Like, it looks like a varsity patch. It looks kind of like a rug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? But just like stuff like that, like you learn as you go. And that's what I'm most excited about. 
it's just growing and seeing where I go with it, you know? And now I'm doing this whole collection with Adidas. So that's another way where I can learn something. And like now I'm learning how to design shoes. So yeah, I'm just trying to take baby steps and I'm taking my time and then like, I, I begged Nico today to do something with Human Made. I mean, <laughs> make it happen. Yeah, so like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, it's kind of like me interning. It's like, you know, kind of learning as I go learning along. Ropes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the same time, we're getting a chance to release something. Well, we talk about collaborations and both of you guys have worked with several brands, APC, Adidas. What for you guys do you hope to get out of these partnerships? ブランドでちょっとしたスパイス的なものでいいとくて、やっぱりブランドはそのコラボしてないレギュラーのものがいいと思われるものを作らなきゃいけないだろうし。ま、これ全部その他のアーティストが参加してるってことないと思う。自分で作ってる曲をたくさんあるだろうし。そういう中にはかんないですけど、フィーチャリングで分かんないプッシャーがフィーチャリングされてるとか。そうすると、ま、
purely written from my imagination and writing as this character. That was something that was exciting to me because after Kids See Ghosts, I was like, I've said all I have to say about at this point where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Post rehab, you know, and Kids See Ghosts was that album for me, you know? And I was thinking like, I, I didn't know if I was gonna drop anything after Kids See Ghosts anytime soon. Like I was thinking about taking like five years off. Five years is a long time. But see, I had like other things that I'm gonna do. Like I'm shooting an HBO miniseries right. this, this and summer. And you're doing and... something with Jordan Peele, right? That... Yeah, I'm working on a TV show with Jordan. But the music was something that was, it just called to me. Like I was just feeling inspired to work. And I always am in the studio. I'm always just tinkering around with sounds. To me, I'm trying to do what I do with music. And that's just introduce something new. And, and open people's minds, you know, a little bit. Getting people to think about how they think about animation and how they think about music and how they think about both of them things working at the same time. Giving people a new perspective. Because that's, that's all this is about, for me, is the experience. Yeah. Because I, I really initially wanted to make a visual album, but I was like, okay, that's been done before. How can we give it a little twist? How can we do something different? And that's how I came up with the, the idea for the show, Intergalactic. I'm trying my hardest to still introduce new sounds and push the envelope sonically. And I think people are gonna be into it. I think uh, this, is, this is like my perspective on love. And people haven't really heard that. Mm. I've just never really had much luck in relationships. So I've never had anything to write from. And if I did write about my relationships, it would be all disasters. I needed something to inspire me, to get me there, to want to write about relationships. And this show kind of did it for me. So will the album come out the same time as the show? The album and the show will come out at the same time. Got it. So when you're watching the show, you'll hear the music. You love the music, you can go and download it immediately. So we were talking earlier a lot about sort of this DNA that you've created and you being an originator and you know you're no longer a vape and I think what's interesting though is that you've created such a legacy and a brand there that you can't just hire a new creative director. なんで新しいものを追いかけないんだろうっていう you mentioned wanting to potentially take a break or thought about taking a break. Does that mean, are we getting a Kid Sea Ghost 2 album anytime soon? There will be more Kid Sea Ghost albums. Kanye has already told me working that he, he wants to start <laughs> working already. on the second one. It's kind of weird, because it's like, with the first album, I didn't know how serious he was about making a collab album with me. Mm -hmm. Like, he had mentioned it, but I thought it was just like, a good idea he had in the moment. I didn't know how serious he was about it. But then he kept bringing it up and he kept having me come to his house to listen to music and work on beats. So like I thought, I was like, wow, he, he, he's really into this. And then we had a discussion where he said he wanted to make a spiritual album. And I told him, great, because that's what I'm on. That's what I do. Like, I would love to do that. So there will definitely be more. We're looking at it, yeah. What do you guys want to be remembered by? うん、そうですね。まあ、僕はもう今あれですよ。スターウォーズで言ったらようだから、もうだこまんで、ひっそりと暮らしてるっていうような。オーディションだと思ってるんで。あまりどうっていうのはないですけど。でもまあ。何か